Alright guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about offsetting columns. Now, what offsetting columns means is taking a column and shifting it over a certain amount. So, you don't always have to have your columns butted right up against each other. You can use offsetting if you want to add a little bit more space, or just shift the column left or right, or do whatever. So, how do we do that? Well, in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a layout with two columns and let's say that I'm gonna have a column on the left like the left menu and then my main content on the right I don't want it butted up right up against that left menu I want it shifted over a little bit maybe one column and then that's when my main content begins so if you guys wanna know how to do that well here you go alright so inside my row which I already have I'm gonna make a div and the first one is just gonna be normal since this is my left column so I'm just gonna say medium medium one looks good and of course this is columns and I also made this other um, real quick CSS file since I was getting kinda tired of typing out inline styles all the time so you know this is just my own and this is just gonna give a background color so these are all just different background colors again nothing to do with foundation this is just me being lazy but this is what we have so far what the f is this crap get the f out of here dude jeez accidentally must have hit something with my sausage fingers alright so right now we have let me just put left menu and it's one column wide alright so now we want to have our main content on the right so I'm gonna make another div and this class is going to be medium and instead of taking up the rest of the area which would be 11 what we're going to do is we're going to set this equal to 10 now remember the rule we always need to take up 12 columns so the reason that I have 10 right now is because we're going to shift this over by one how do we do that well if we do medium offset one what this is going to do is it's going to take this column which is 10 wide shift it over by one and plop it in the new location so it would essentially be column number three where it's going to start so I'm going to name BG2 to give it a different background color and I'll say write content so let's look at what's going on then you can easily see what's up so this is our first column which is one wide on the left now instead of this one on the right butt it up right against here what we said is we're gonna shift it over one and then we're gonna make our right content now one other thing that you need to pay close attention to is that whenever you shift a column or offset it you need to include that in your column total so this is only 10 wide but since we offset it by one it took up another one so this actually counts as 11 so as long as you add up all your numbers medium offset plus medium and they all add up to 12 you're gonna be golden so you can actually um, you know you can have this is 2 so maybe we want our left menu to be 2 wide and we can shift this over by 8 and we would add 2 right here so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and we didn't break anything so make sure that they always add up to 12 simple enough so what I want to do now is teach you guys about block grids now block grids are awesome whenever you have a layout in every column is an equal width so whenever you have a layout that's like 2 on the left and 10 on the right this isn't gonna work but if you ever have um like you know when you go look at someone's uh, profile pictures and every single picture is the same width and the same height and all of the columns are equal well this would be an example of when you can use block grids to make things really easy so inside your row let's say that we want to have three items per row all the time so I'm gonna make an unordered list and for this class I am going to set this equal to medium block grid 3 now the number you put right here is saying how many items in this case how many pictures do you want to appear in your rows so whenever we start adding our images 
there's always going to be three of them for each row. So image, source, and let me copy this a bunch of times so you guys can see what up. So let me just make eight. Why not? So we have eight images here. And since we have a block grid layout of three, watch what happens. So this says that each of these items, even though we didn't specify each single one manually, since we stuck them all inside a block grid of three, they're each going to take up an equal amount, three per row. All right, you know what? These images are looking a little bit, you know, jumbo. I actually want to have five images per row. So I can just change this to five, and my entire layout is going to update like that. Pretty awesome, eh? And you can actually I'll show you guys another cool trick. So maybe you wanted to have this on a desktop, but on phones, look at it on a phone and smaller devices. I mean, things are getting kind of weird looking, and then it switches to that unexpectedly. So let's say that uh, maybe on small devices, not small, small, then we want to have, I don't know, like three. Something like that. So this would be medium and large, then on smaller, I shrink it down to small it pops over to three pretty sweet eh? so you might want to do that something like three five and ten who knows whatever but that is a block grid it's pretty much a really um lazy not a lazy way really convenient way that you can say the items I'm gonna put in here make all of the columns even and this is how many items I want to have on each row